several teenage girls went for a sleepover at a friend's house. Taking advantage of the fact that the parents were away, when they turned out the lights, they started talking about an old man who had just been buried in a nearby cemetery. It was said that he had been buried alive and could be heard scratching at the coffin, trying to get out. One of the girls scoffed at the idea, so the others dared her to go visit the grave right there and then. As proof that she had actually gone, she was to drive a wooden stake into the earth of the grave. The girl left, and her friends lay waiting for her to return. But the hours went by, and their friend failed to materialize. They lay awake, increasingly terrified. Morning came, and the girl still had not appeared. So, when the parents came back, they all went down to the cemetery. There, they found the girl lying on the grave. Dead. When she had bent down to drive the stake into the ground, she had caught the hem of her skirt. Struggling to get up, she thought the buried man had grabbed her. It was concluded that she died of fright. A teenage girl was asked to babysit for a family that lived in a huge, luxurious house. It was her first evening on the job, and after she put the children to bed upstairs, she sat down in front of the TV. But no sooner had she settled there than the phone rang. The caller was a man, gasping and laughing menacingly. He asked, have you been up to check the children? The babysitter hung up, convinced that her friends were playing a joke on her. But the man called again, and again he asked, have you been up to check the children? Again, she hung up, now frightened. But the man called a third time. This time, he said, I've taken care of the kids. Now I'm coming for you. By now, the babysitter was truly terrified. She called the police and reported the calls. The police told her to try to distract the man the next time he phoned to give them time to trace the call. As expected, the man called back. The babysitter begged him to leave her alone, thus keeping him on the line for longer. Eventually, he hung up. Immediately, the phone rang again. This time, it was the police. Leave the house fast. The calls are coming from upstairs. What you guys think about? Do let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy our stories, subscribe Saturday Stories, and don't forget to share with your friends. See you guys in next.